the city of Kamloops. It's the tournament capital of Canada, with a fish with a cowboy hat and a gun as its unofficial mascot, and has a mayor talking about dumpster fires for all the wrong reasons. That vehicle's not the problem. The dumpster beside there has had multiple fires. That is Reed Hammer Jackson. Before becoming mayor last year, he was a used car salesman. He still owns his dealership, and the vehicle that he's referencing is at the center of his newest controversy. So, Mayor, are you going to move the car? There is a burned-out car on the mayor's lot and the fire chief says it has to go. So we've deemed it a fire hazard. There's been two fires there already over the last year, and there's still people being drawn to the car. And the chief says this has been a long-standing issue. We had originally asked the property owner um, probably a few weeks ago, a month maybe, to remove it, um, and then uh, was told no. We asked again to remove it, was told no, so I, it forced me to go to a written order. But the mayor isn't budging. I paid taxes on that property to have a car lot. Again, again, it's, it's a piece of my inventory. And when we asked if he would refuse to pay any bill given to him by the fire department, he said, well... You know what? I'm going to tell you, we live on Graffitiville. There's graffiti all over the place. I was exempt for graffiti for years because they can't keep that fence fixed behind the building. I also got a bill for graffiti before the election. There's graffiti next door. Which really isn't an answer to the question, but the point is the mayor's feud adds to the lengthy list of people he's had conflict with. He's feuded with his entire council ever since he got elected. He's suing one of them for defamation. He's being investigated for alleged workplace bullying. He's being investigated in a different situation for his interactions with the city's top bureaucrat. And those are just the serious conflicts, including the one with the fire chief. And there are plenty of others, including a counselor, and this is not made up, falsely accusing him of making a fart joke during an industry event. In short, things are tense in Kamloops, and it's not like the mayor came into power with much support in the first place. Here is a chart. It shows the mayors in British Columbia who got the lowest percentage of votes last election, but still won. And there, right next to the bottom, is Hammer Jackson. Now, after he was elected and got into a couple controversies in his first month, Hammer Jackson said this to CBC. There's a lot of people in there didn't want me to be in there. And that may be true, but when you spend so much of your time around dumpster fires, both literal and metaphorical, eventually voters might have different ideas than you about who is responsible. Justin McElroy, CBC News, Vancouver.